Hello there. Welcome to the RC Stories Garage. In this episode, we will discuss repainting Lexan or polycarbonate RC bodies. This is my Vanquish VS410 Phoenix Portal truck. I made a mistake while building this truck and accidentally used Tamiya TS paint for the transparent orange base coat on the body. On the first drive in freezing temperatures, I rolled the truck and the paint started to flake off. I'd watched a tutorial by the channel RC Empire who were able to flake off TS paint from a polycarbonate body. This seemed like it would be much easier with the paint below freezing, so I went to work immediately, stripping and prepping the body for a repaint. Even the PS1 white on the roof cracked slightly from the hard crash. I worked outside because this is a messy job, and the parts that I wasn't actively working on, I stored in the deep freeze. Here I am buckling the polycarbonate to crack away the bad paint, but not enough to permanently distort the plastic. Then I used compressed air to blow away the flakes. This is messy and almost impossible to clean up. I worked on the lawn, hoping the lawn mower would pick up the scraps. The body is looking okay after cracking off the paint. Here I am using a plastic scraper on stubborn areas. You could also try using graffiti remover. In the end, I had to use a razor blade to scrape some stubborn areas and sandpaper to strip the roof interior. Here the roof is cleaned of everything but the white base coat. And here all the bad paint is removed. I cut new window masks on a Cricut Maker I used Tamiya masking sheets for this. I always scan the mask sheet that comes with the kit just in case I need to make masks again later. Here I have masked the windows and the exterior. Then I masked off everything except the roof interior. First the roof interior was repainted PS1 white. Once that was done I removed the interior masks, but not the window masks of course, and started painting the main body layers. I usually let the paint dry 10 minutes between coats. I will put the full paint recipe in the video description. Here the PS41 bright silver backer final coat is done. I like to get my paint nearly opaque so LEDs don't shine through the paint and ruin night shots. I let the paint cure overnight before doing any other work. After removing the exterior masking, here's the cab with a lovely orange to green fade. Who doesn't love Halloween? I changed up the paint scheme the second time around, but still went with an iridescent effect. Oops, someone forgot to remove one window mask. I guess the interior has to come out again. You know what they say, everyone deserves a second chance. I'm trying out black box rails, which are currently wrapped in vinyl, but I may paint them flat black, orange, or solid green later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see some running video. Also, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the new paint scheme. Or if you have any other repainting tips or stories to share, leave a comment below. We'll see you next time.